Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Precision 3530 laptop. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery. This laptop can work without the battery if you don't want to plug in, have the battery in there, if yours is inflated or bloated, then you can just simply remove it and use it connected directly. That way the charger will last you longer and it will not overheat. All right. So in this video, I'm just going to open it up and show you guys how to replace the battery. And I'll give you a tip at the end of the video, how to keep the battery at the best uh, state possible. So there's a way, when you get the new battery, there's a step that you need to do before you start using it. All right, first to power off the laptop, turn it off, slip it upside down, grab yourself a good screwdriver set. The reason is because somebody before tried to open it up and they use a bad screw head and the screwdriver and they damage the screw heads. So we're gonna use an iFix screwdriver set and the correct fits are Phillips number one. Now these screws, they do have a C lock on them that will make, that means that it will prevent them from the screw coming out. So all you need to do is just rotate until it's really loosened up. That's what you wanna do. You wanna do this to all the screws, including the one in the middle. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more video tech requests and answer your questions in the comments area. All right, now that we loosen up the screws, I think I forgot the one in the middle. What you want to do, I'm going to use a guitar pick for an opening tool. These are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You're going to stick it right in between here and we're going to lift it up and you're going to use your fourth a little bit and you're going to pull the cover and you want to hear those click sounds that you might want to hear on the side and then bring them up and that's it those are the tiny clips that the hooks are getting loosened up you're not breaking anything and right away we can see a 42 watt hour battery right in here the model is a 3d double d g i'll try to get the link for this battery and i'll leave them in the video description in case you want to purchase yours to remove the battery there's a two screw that holds it in place one right there and one right in here before we do that there's a plastic tape right on top here. It should be like a handle. Just grab it and pull it towards the ceiling. This one is ripped from one side, but it's okay. Yours should be something like this. And just grab it and pull it up. And then untangle that. Remove the two screws. All right, once you remove those, lift up the battery, bring it up, and that's it. This screw has a seal lock on it, so it will not come out. It's like a bottom case, so it has a seal lock on it. Well, it should come out, actually. Let me see. No, it doesn't come out. So your battery has to come with a, a screw. All right. Now, they do not give you the cable for the new battery. You have to untangle it all the way from here, down here. And once it's untangled, then you want to slide it backward. You will need this cable once you get the new battery. Once you got the new battery, all you want to do, grab this cable. The same way that you removed it, it only goes in one way. Slide it inside the connector all the way in there, pinch it all the way in. Some people don't pinch it all the way in and it will not make a good contact. Make sure it's nicely pinched in. And run the cable between the cells right there. Put the bottom end of the battery right under the hook, this power. And then put it down, run the cable, and then evenly put it inside the jack and push it down nice and hard. Um, tighten up the screw on the right side and put the screw right in the middle. In here it says reverse for battery door. Okay. It says there's no bad, there's no screw. So here you shouldn't put any screw because the motherboard on the other side. This screw goes from the bottom casing. So this one, if you have yours, just put it on. If you don't, don't worry about it. All right, once you have the battery in there, all you want to do, grab the bottom cover, bring it over the front end. You want to push down. You want to snap those clips in on the back corners. And then last thing is to tighten up the screws right on the cover. Now, regarding the new battery inside the laptop, once you put the new one in, you don't want to power on right away. 
you want to keep it off and you want to plug in the charger and you want to leave it charging at least for four to five hours. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in. And then you want to drain the battery, slowly bringing down the brightness of the battery down to 30% and then let it drain it slowly. After, once the battery is down to 30%, you want to power off the laptop and then leave it charging again for another three to four hours or four to five hours. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna put on the laptop. The screen is kind of dirty. And that's it. I'm just gonna load the windows.